Hey guys, it's pie day today. March 14th is pie day, so we are gonna be making some little hand pies. If, sorry if Bubs is a little loud. He's sitting over there munching on some noodles. So we are gonna make some peach pie. This is the first time we are making pie crust by ourselves. I did do a pie day video like two years ago, and we just used like the pre-made stuff. So I will link that above if you want to take an easier route. But Aubrey is gonna be showing us how to make no, this today. Aubrey. Okay, she wants me to refer to her as Adley because that is one of her favorite YouTubers, right? Okay, so we're gonna be using our little uh, blender here. We have a dough hook, but you guys could use some other type of mixer here to incorporate all of the ingredients. So the first thing Aubrey's gonna add in is... That's okay. It's okay. We can keep it Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to add in some cold butter. butter. This is one stick, and I'll be putting the measurements on the screen for you guys for your reference. We are doing like a half batch because no way do we need all of this pie crust for a bunch of little hand pies. Good job. We're going to add in next some Lactical. white sugar <laughs> and a little bit of salt. Perfect. So we're going to put this on Ooh, and push the thing down. Ooh. Okay, the next step is going to be loud. I want you to press the power button. How is it false? Okay. And then press the dough button. Just let go of the power and then press the dough. Okay, so that got it kind of quickly blended up. Now we're going to add in a little bit of water. <laughs> water. At the same flat time. One more. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to mix it up again and see how much more water we need. Definitely, I mean, I don't even think we need all of that water. It looks like it's really coming together. Yeah. We're doing together. So it does, it definitely feels like it's <laughs> pliable. Yeah, Bubba, it does. So I'm just going to take this out now. And we're going <laughs> to, we're going to refrigerate this just to let it chill so that that butter doesn't get too, too warm. In the fridge it goes. And we clean up as we go because we are... The full family. Yeah. The full family. So what do we add next? All right, so we are this going... Or this or this? We are going to add in a couple peaches. And do we eat the rest? We might eat the rest. So I don't envision us needing all this whole can, so we're going to just do a peach at a time, cut it up, and see kind of what works best. I get to cut it up because... Because it's your cooking show. When we give it to someone, we hold this. We hold it like this and we hand it. So let me hand it to you. Okay. And then you're going to cut this up. I'll hold it with a fork and you cut it in little pieces. So we want these to be little because we're going to be making little hand pies. If we were making a big pie, we probably wouldn't need to cut them at all. I think Bubby wants some peaches. Show. <laughs> Wait, I'm making peach pie with peaches in. 
So obviously you could try to get pie filling, but I'm trying to work with what we got here. I think Bubby has already eaten all the peaches I gave him. So we're going to set that aside. Mm-hmm. Well, well, surface. Good job. And then I'm going to set my rolling pin to, I don't know. Dad! Look how much! We're going to roll our dough out to a quarter inch. Uh, ooh. You can't put too much here on the bottom. That's okay. Uh, 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 uh. I don't have a perfect Look, like. Mommy. Oh my goodness! So I'm just gonna use a cup to cut out Can some perfect that? circles, and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of the filling, maybe like two peaches or three tiny cut up peaches worth. Fold this up, mm. or you know what? Maybe we'll make them into circles. That's what we'll do. Mommy, that would have peaches in it. It did. Did you lie to me? Good, Skitty. Look how flat mine is and yours. Look. Perfect, Aubrey. Look at that. All right, now push this down gently. Uh, All done? Uh, can I put some peaches in it? Yes. Okay, and then you know what we're going to do, Aubrey? What? We're going to take your fork and we actually go like this. Okay, you want to, it's called like crimping the edges. So crimp it down like that. And go all the way around. Or just use your finger. Why not use your little finger and press it down around the edge? All right, and you know what the la every pie needs? <sighs> a poke in the top. Poke in the top? Yep. <laughs> you gotta go all the way in. Go all the way in the top. There we go. Look at mine right here. There's this beautiful Aubrey. Because of mine has two. Stay doing two. Make pies of bells their moms, right? <laughs> right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Kids don't know how to do recipes all about yourself. But big kids, like me. I love you so much, Baba. He said, I love you so much, Aubrey. So we made four round hand pies that are about four inches in diameter using our dough that we made. We have a lot of leftover peaches, so we probably could have made like the full batch of the dough and not even a can of the peaches and we would have been fine. So <laughs> what I might do is bake this with a little bit of the extra dough around the circumference and serve it with like whipped cream. All right, so I've got a really cute little pan here. Aubrey's gonna eat some of the peaches, but I am gonna put some of them in here. So it doesn't need a lot. I am. It's one more soup and then that's it. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut off this extra bit after we crimp the edge. So that's a perfect little circle and I'll make a little topping. Okay, it's definitely not perfect, but it will taste the same. <laughs> okay, and then what do we have to do to our counter? We need to get it up! <laughs> you are right. This dough scraper definitely makes cleaning up a little bit easier as it gets most of this dirty stuff away. And then I can go and wipe it up without totally ruining a towel. So here we go, here are the little hand pies, and then this little sad looking one in my little container. But I'm preheating the oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna see how these go. So I just baked these until they were like nice and golden brown and same goes for the little pie. And to make a little glaze for the top, I took some powdered sugar and just poured on a little bit of milk. You could always add more, but you don't want to add too much at first because then you'll have to add in tons more powdered sugar. So I just did a little splash of milk and once the pies were relatively cool, at least cool enough for me to touch, I put them on a little wired tray and put this back over my our already dirty tray you don't have to do this but it just kind of helped me clean up less items and so then what I did was I poured on the glaze and had a bowl underneath that caught all of the glaze and then I just kept rotating these bowls 
until all of our little hand pies were covered. And then I used the very last little bit to sprinkle on our other pie. I did end up eating this pie later on and I enjoyed it with some ice cream and I warmed it up and it was absolutely delicious. Here you can see me cutting into the pie that I was going to try out on this day and you could see that it could probably have used a little bit more filling but it cut through very nicely. There was nothing really like under baked and it was just great. What does the inside look like? You will to find out. Ooh. Is it worth making again? Mommy, look at me, Mommy. Sometimes I never keep my phones up in the weather minutes, and then I do. That's how I do it. So how, can you show me how much you like it? Oh, that means it's really yummy, huh? You did a good job. You made that pie all by yourself. That's pretty awesome, Aubrey. You're a baker. Now that's mm. on the peace, yes? Yeah? Whoa! Oh, that much I died to go for a week. I love it. Look at the inside of mine. Ooh, that's pretty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I'm here enjoying mine with the awesome baker who helped to make this. <laughs> All right, so when I bit into mine, obviously there it probably could have used a little bit more filling. Um, it was my first time working with, well, it was my first time working with this type of pie crust. So um, it's very flaky. It's definitely what I would imagine like a pie crust to be like, buttery, flaky. But I don't know if it works for hand pies as well. Maybe I could have just made it a little bit thinner. You can kind of see where the two layers form and it makes like a half inch of just pie crust. So it's pretty thick. But I don't know if I would roll it out just slightly thinner next time, but it is delicious. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.